I don't have light here. I was looking for a job. It was spring. I had no idea what was coming. I had an interview. He was my boss, 27 years old. I started working when he was explaining to me what I need to do. All I could think was how to fuck him. He wasn't my type. He wasn't very handsome. But this fucking attraction was like from here up and down all over my body. <laughs> Instantly I thought, what is it about this guy that's so appealing to me? If I would see him on the street, I wouldn't look. What is it about him that makes me so anxious? And then something I realized, anxiety turns me on. How fucked up is that? <laughs> Somewhere in my childhood, the way I grew up, my brain registered a back and forth type of love equals the good thing, the real thing. What I was actually feeling was <clears throat> desperation and a constant fear of losing a love that was like, here you have it, now it's gone. I could never, ever count on my parents' love and affection. What I was given was just crumbs. Crumbs make you starve. When you starve and you go out into the world, <laughs> you're going to take whatever you have. You know the word, don't go shopping when you're hungry. It's exactly the same in relationships. I lost my job because of him, and I didn't even kiss him. I didn't even hold his hand. It was so intense emotionally and psychologically that I had to go home and Google the behavior he was displaying at work to come up with narcissistic personality disorder, which is a glove for the codependent, which is I am. <sighs> From the outside, Everyone would say, oh, this is so exciting. This is a match. It's hell, designed in a very seductive way. The moment you feel a strong pull towards someone and you have the thought, this is so bad, but I cannot get out of it, that is the biggest red flag you have. If you feel from the start intense emotion, if you feel like you just want to have sex and you barely know each other, you don't know anything, you are projecting constantly, and he's feeding you the same, it's the other way with both. That is a red flag, huge. It's not meant to be. It's not the one. It's the one who will become a hell for you. I wouldn't trade this experience for anything. What I got from it, is priceless. <laughs> the information and the knowledge that I have this day, like, I'm scanning my body when I speak to people, when they come in interaction with me, and I get an instant signal of what's going on. Now, when I feel something here, I don't call it attraction. I call it, watch out, be careful, let's see what's going on. I used to blame my mother a lot for all the fucked up relationships I had, up to the point where I took it all in. And when I, I have counted the treasures that I have now, it's mind blowing. I wouldn't, I would give, if someone would tell me, do you want to go back, do you want to rewind and have a different family, a different childhood? But we're going to take all the knowledge away all the experience, <laughs> I wouldn't. So, <laughs> out of the pain, I thank my mother for the great gift he, she gave me. Coming back to myself, getting in touch with what real love feels like, and moving strong 
towards a healthy relationship with a clear distinction of what is right and what is not. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>